This is Jim with OmniEye. There's the uh, clean out. It's a one way, four inch. So here at uh, 67 feet, it drops down. Wow, that is weird. It's going into. That is an unusual thing going on here because you see the end of the pipe sticking out. It's almost like it's a little. I'm surprised we got into that. But we'll go in again, see if we get to go further. I think we're supposed to stop there. Yeah, I can't go any further than that. That is a weird connection there. It's like it drops into a another pipe that's that almost looks like it's a uh, six by four reducing uh, fitting. I'm not positive. Let me locate where that is. I think you might have to dig that up and fix that connection. I don't think that's proper. Let me go locate where that is. All right, see, so as we, as the camera goes in the four inch pipe, the pipe turns down. See how it's turning down? Yeah. It turns down. But there's another pipe in there. See, here's the edge of the pipe. That's very unusual. So, and it looks like it's a, it's a, uh, it's cemented in. And uh, the camera will go down, but it won't go in that pipe. See, it goes down. And see, there's something going on there. I don't know what it is. It's like an old pipe. And I can't see the camera just hits that and doesn't go anywhere. So that's where all the shortage is probably going. That's where all the sewage is, and that's uh, that's a it's a problem that needs to be addressed. I, I don't know what it is, but I think you need to dig that up and figure it out and fix it. I guess I'd have to get somebody like Garrett to do that. Yeah, I'd get Garrett. They, they, they're qualified to do that. And uh, uh, they, they want a picture. They, they're going to want this. Yeah, I'm going to give them a DVD. Oh, 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 I'm going to give you a DVD too. Right. And that way they can see what they're dealing with. See, it's 67 feet out there. And uh, and that way they know what they're going for. Yeah. You know, they can just dig down and be prepared to uh, do whatever. I guess we'd have to get a permit for that, wouldn't we? I don't know. I have to ask uh, ask Gary over at Garrett. He yeah. would know. Uh, but uh, if you need one, definitely get one right out there in the middle of the street. They're going to be they'll be looking at you. And if you don't have your permits, they'll, they'll come be... The only thing I'm afraid of is that is it'll disrupt the tenants, you know? Well, you know, it might not. No? Because they can dig it up and look at it and try and figure it all out. And once they got it figured out, you know, they might have to turn off the water for an hour. Oh. oh. Or two hours. You know, I hate to put words in, in oh, their no, mouth. The city, but they're, they're, they're already doing that because they're doing some work yeah, in the area. Yeah, so it's not like it's that big a deal. And the big part is the digging it up and exposing it and, and looking at it right. and then deciding what you're going to do. And then once they decide what they're going to do, and then they give you notice, you turn off the water, nobody flushes toilets, they cut the pipe, fix it, right. put it back together. And they'll have everything ready to go so that, you know, when it's time to go, they can go in and out as yeah. quick as possible. Well, that's what they're qualified for, I see. Yeah, Garrett's good at that. You get some handy McGann in here, oh, and he's yeah. going to dig it up and say, I don't know what to do with I it. Don't, I don't and then, that. yeah, don't do that. Because that, right. that would be a big disruption. Yeah, and I've seen those. 
All right. Let me pull this back. But the rest of the pipe looks okay. You know, there's a little bit of hill and valley. It's a little bit roller coaster. Well, we, we replaced the pipe as far as the step.